very good evening to all of you and welcome back to our channel the teacher and in this tutorial i will show you that how you can create neon animation effect in microsoft powerpoint you might already have seen a lot of neon animation on youtube where people use after effect adobe illustrator or photoshop to create this neon animation and as you can see the examples here and you can also apply this neon animation on the objects and even on the videos so let's get started and first of all I would like to tell you about the clipartmania.com as in the previous video I have talked about freepick.com from where you can download thousands of vector files for free and this is another site from where I have downloaded this netraj Lord Shiva form vector file and you can find hundreds of thousands of files here and you can download and can use them inside powerpoint for free but one thing I would like to tell you about first that if you have not watched my previous video that how you can convert AI or EPS file formats to SVG. The SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics and Microsoft PowerPoint support that vector file. So let's say if I download this Natraj form Lord Shiva and then it is in a compressed form. So I will right click on it and choose Extract to folder name. If now I open this folder, then you can see that this file is in EPS format. If I right click on it and choose property, and here you can see the file type that is .eps. And if now I move to PowerPoint and open a new slide by pressing Ctrl N, and then change the layout to blank. And now if I go to the insert tab, and then click on pictures, and then move to the same folder where I have downloaded the Natraj Lord Shiva form vector file, then you can see that this folder is empty. However, the file is still there, but you can't see that file inside PowerPoint because if you click on the file type drop down button, then you can see that which image file type Microsoft PowerPoint supports and you don't see EPS file type here. However, the good thing is that Microsoft PowerPoint support other vector file types like WEM and WM or SVG and SVG is the best file type for vectors if you want to use them inside PowerPoint. So first we have to convert that EPS file to a format that Microsoft PowerPoint support and I will recommend you SVG file format but if you will use any online service like if you google for EPS to SVG and then convert this downloaded file to SVG format so you can insert it inside powerpoint slide here i select the file move to the same download folder and choose the file and then i set svg as a conversion format and then click on convert so after the conversion is complete you can click on the download button to download the svg format file and now if I move to the PowerPoint and go to the insert tab and click pictures then move to the downloaded folder and here we have that Indian Hindu God Lord Shiva Natraj form file in SVG format. Now I click on insert and I can increase the size by holding Ctrl Alt and Shift key that way it will increase the size simultaneously from all the sites. Let me zoom out and increase the size a bit more. Using vector files inside PowerPoint lets you access all the layers that has been used while creating this character inside Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. So if I select this object, then you can see a new tab will appear on Office ribbon that is graphics format. And if you want to see all the layers of this object here, let me open the selection pane first from the home tab by clicking on the select drop down button and choose selection pane. So after selecting this object, if I go to the graphics format tab and click on group and then choose ungroup command and here it is asking you this is an imported picture not a group. Do you want to convert it to a Microsoft Office drawing object? And if I hit yes, then you can see all the layers of this object here. But converting through online services might give you these kind of results. The picture may crash totally. So we have to use Adobe Illustrator for that. And it will convert the EPS to SVG in a best format with all the layers that you want. 
So I will open that file in Adobe Illustrator by clicking on the file menu and then choose open and then move to the location. And Adobe Illustrator support all type of vector files as you can see here all type of images and vector files can be open inside Adobe Illustrator and I the another good thing about vector files is that you can increase the size of the objects and they will not lose the resolution and clarity. So after adjusting the size you can go to the layers panel and you can see here that how this image has been created and each part has been drawn separately and here are hundreds of layers here. So I need all of these layers otherwise you can click on the I button to remove that layer from the list and when you will export that uh, image to SVG format through Adobe Illustrator then these layers will not appear inside the exported file. So I want all these layers so I will check mark them all and now I will go to the file menu we will click on export, export as and here I will export it on desktop with a new name Indian Hindu code and the file type will be SVG because it works best with the PowerPoint. Now hit the export button and now I move to PowerPoint hit the OK button again. Now I move to the PowerPoint delete this object here and go to the insert tab picture move to desktop and here we have Indian Hindu code SVG file and now I click on the insert tab. And now I will again move to the graphics format click group drop down button and choose ungroup and hit yes. So after ungrouping you will start seeing all the layers that you were seeing in Adobe Illustrator as you can see them here. You will get all the layers intact inside PowerPoint if you use SVG file format through Adobe Illustrator. As all these layers are still inside a single group so if you will select this object then it is it will still be assumed as a single object. So once you use the ungroup command then the graphics format tab will disappear and then you will start seeing the shape format tab instead of graphics format. That is because it will convert all the Adobe Illustrator layers into the freeform shape. So to select and use each of the layer you again have to go to the shape format then click on the group drop down button and choose the ungroup command once again so that the that particular group will get disappear. And now you have each layer as a separate layer and you can select any of the layer by clicking on the object and then you can do whatever you want to do with this object. So what I did I followed all these step to get this Natraj form inside PowerPoint and after ungrouping all the layers I start selecting each layer individually by holding the shift key and like this and then I group these layers as a single object. I want to create a bow separately so I selected all the layers that are available inside the bow and then group them together. Then I name them. Naming the object is very important because later you can easily identify and select the object through the selection pan. So I name it bow. And using the same method, I created all these separate layers here. So if I change the background color, right click on an empty area of your slide, go to the format background and I here I will apply a solid fill to white. And if I now show you each of the object, like I have selected this one and that is a crown object which is which include so many of these layers. So I selected each layer individually. However, this is a complicated object here we have and which consists hundreds of layers. So it took me a lot of time to adjust and name and group all the layers separately. So once you have your character ready then you, you can easily apply the neon animation effect on them. So if I expand this thumbnail view here then you can see that this neon animation has been created on 50 slides. And if I open the animation pen as you can see here, no animation effect has been used on any of the slide. 
first of all, I would like to tell you about that how you can insert the music. And you can see here that I have inserted the music on the very first slide. Let me delete this music here. And I will again insert that music file. Go to the insert tab, click on the audio drop down button and choose audio on my PC. Click insert, move that icon to the bottom and you can also make a check mark on hide during show inside the playback tab. That way it will not show you the that icon, sound icon if even if you place it on the slide. During the slideshow this icon will get disappear because of this hide during show option. Even then I will place it on the bottom and then you can use the trim audio command if you want to remove a specific part of the music. So I want to start it from the beginning but I want to end it at 10 seconds and hit the OK key and I want to play this audio across slides. So I will also make a check mark on play across slides that way it will get played for 10 seconds. But as the transition timing has been given on each slide, as you can see here in the transition tab, I have applied a 0.10 seconds transition timing to this slide. And if I move to the next one, then you can see that on most of the slide, I am using 0.10 seconds timing. I want that during slideshow, it starts showing you each slide for a very short duration that is 0.10 seconds. So once you have the object and the music, and the text then you can duplicate this slide by right clicking on it and then choose duplicate slide like this and on the second slide what I did I just selected this bow object and then go to the shape format and then simply I change the fill color and the glow options then I apply a glow option on it to make it shine from rest of the gray objects. So that is a very simple technique where you place a dark background and on top of it you place shining glowing text on top of it. So I am using the same technique where I on the very second slide I change the bow color and this text color here. Then I repeated the same steps to create more duplicate slides and on each of the slide as you can see here I started changing the fill color and glow option of different objects. So once you have all the slides ready with different fill color and glow options and we have a very short transition timing of 0 0.10 seconds for all the slides. Let me change the background color of this slide as well. So if now I click on the slideshow button then what PowerPoint will does it will display all the slide in 5 seconds. So that way it will create a neon animation effect. So during the slideshow what it was doing it was just forwarding to the next slide and when it forwards with a very fast speed then it automatically creates a neon animation effect. So using this technique you can animate any kind of object or text as you can download these kind of clip parts here as we have this Lord Krishna vector file. You can download this file, can convert this to SVG format and then can group and ungroup layers as you want them. And later you can apply fill and glow options on different slides with a very short duration and when you will play the slideshow it will automatically create the neon animation effect. So I hope you will like this tutorial. Let me know by liking, sharing and commenting on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.